Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another di for another video. <laughs> and there's a big announcement coming up because I'm officially starting another Dinosaur King tournament. And this one's going to be bigger and better than the last one. So we have all the rules, all the format. Okay, let's crack on. New rules. There'll be a 32 player tournament. And as a twist for the first time, I'm allowing any dinosaur to enter of course there are certain rulings for each dinosaur type because it has to be so that's any dinosaur in the whole arcade game is allowed to enter um, it's going to be a tag team format so how that works is that each dinosaur will only be allowed to switch once unless stated Players must also state how many times the switch icon appears before I swap out. So, for example, if you, when you enter your dinosaur and you say three times, I will swap that dinosaur out on the third time the switch icon appears. So I hope that's not too complex. Shouldn't be. Okay, so we have a group stage format this time, which is different from my last tournament. We have four groups of eight as I already have the group table ready and you play each player once the top four players will advance the bot to the last 16 and the bottom four will be eliminated you get three points for a win two points for a draw now I know people are thinking hang on a minute you can't draw in Dinosaur King well in theory you can because if you're down to your last two dinos and their health is like a, they have a sliver of health left each and they tie, the game will randomly decide a winner. However, if that does happen, I will deem it as a draw because that would be the only fair outcome. So that's what I mean by a draw. So we have, and you get nothing for a loss, obviously. I've also introduced a bonus point system. So, a player will get a bonus point if both dinosaurs survive, if you win, and both your dinosaurs survive. And players can also get a losing bonus point if you lose, but your opponent is down to their last dino with that dino's health in the red. So, pretty intense. Pretty exciting stuff, isn't it? <laughs> And obviously, if not enough players enter, I will fill in the groups with random dinos. Okay, so the following cards are actually banned. Egg cards, combine cards, character cards, and any card with multiple dinosaurs on are banned. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, some move cards are forbidden. So Life Force Swap, obviously banned. And Death Fire. Which is a bit of a controversial one, and you'll see why later. But Deathfire, the move itself, is banned. Um, placement videos will be posted. The placement video will be posted after the deadline is passed. So once the deadline is passed, which is April 15th, 2020. Obviously, it's not going to be 2021. <laughs> yeah. I'll post another video for everyone's placement. So yeah. If you want to enter this tournament, the deadline, as I mentioned, is April 15th. And the way to do it is to either message me on Discord or comment down below this video with the hashtag, hashtag DKStrangerTournament. And in that exact type. In. So then I know that you want to enter. So, yep. And last but not least, like my last tournament, moves will be randomly generated using RNG. So just like my last tournament, 1-4 rock, 2-5 paper, 3-6 scissors, everyone's allowed to enter this time. Right, now let's get on to the hard stuff. Uh, we'll do this one first because it's pretty easy to explain. So we have secret dinosaurs, yes? I allow the entrance entry of secret dinosaurs, but I do have conditions. The conditions being you're only allowed one secret dino per team. If you use a secret dinosaur, the other dinosaur cannot be an armor dinosaur a super dino or black t-rex also and finally if eel raptor is selected which is this one right here it must go in first because eel raptor's technique is ridiculously high and if it goes in second it will get support effect off every time 
and certain support effects are more powerful than others. So, if it's like if it if it's a water support effect, your your opponent's basically playing with two moves for the whole match. So yeah, there you go. Black T Rex now. Quite a self-explanatory one. If you use Black T Rex again, the other Dino cannot be an armor super or secret Dino. Um. One twist I added is it cannot have a scissors move since it has a built-in death fire. So this is what I meant by the banning of death fire, the move itself being controversial because Black T-Rex will be allowed to use it because I'm allowing Black T-Rex to enter. So yeah, you cannot have a scissors move. And if Black T-Rex does get a death fire off, the opponent will get a free hit next turn. And that free hit will be weak to whatever that opponent's critical move is. So say for example, Black T-Rex comes in, kills Sorofagonax. A Parasaurolophus comes in. That Parasaurolophus will get a free hit, which will be Scissors, because the Scissors is weak to its critical move, which is Rock. Okay? Hope, hope you understand. And, uh, and the last one must be first, I know, and it cannot be switched. Because you could put it in second and it can instantly win. Which is, I don't really like. So it must go in first. Okay, now for the complicated ones. <laughs> Armour dinosaurs. This one might be a bit controversial, but I'm going to... I did do a beta testing with this tournament and my rules seem to work, work pretty well for all of them. So I feel I have a good balance. But we can agree to disagree. Anyway, conditions of usage. You're only allowed one of these per team. And if that dino gets its ultimate move off, for example, ultimate dino thunder for dino tech to chomp, the spectral moves for these four, five, and then the next move, the opponent will get a free critical hit. So you say you get, say you're using Geiger, so you get spectral lancer off. And then, say, a T-Rex comes in. That T-Rex will get a critical move off for free. Because these moves will, 90% of the time, kill the opposition instantly. And because of that, the armor Dino must go in first and it cannot be put in second. So it has to go in first and it cannot switch out. That way, you, that way it does prevent... It does limit the chances that you'll get an ultimate move off on the second dino. So yeah, if you do use one of these, the second dino must have 1600 or less strength. And the second entry cannot be a super, secret or black T-Rex. And as for the armour itself, I will activate it as soon as I'm able to. Because why would you wait? Right, now for the hardest one. The Super Dinosaurs. Conditions of usage. This is going to be complicated, so... If you use a Super Dinosaur with 1600 or more strength, the second Dino cannot be Super, Armor, Secret or Black T-Rex. If you use Super Verizinosaurus, which is this one, and Super Eocacheria, which is this one, the second Dino must have 1800 or less strength, and cannot be a super secret armor or black T-Rex dino. If you use a super dino, however, with 1400 or less strength, the second dino cannot be secret black T-Rex or armor dino, but you can use another super dino as long as our dino has 1400 or less strength. So say you use Super Notosaurus, then you're allowed to use something like Super Triceratops, no, not Super Triceratops. Uh, hang on. Super Carifosaurus. Awaken mode can only be used once per dino per match. Uh, certain super moves I've banned. Super dinos cannot use the following moves. Crimson Flame, Neptune Stream, Final Thunder, Gaia Mountain, Dino Force or Air Raid Storm. That's because these moves are very prone to human error and especially with the super dinos. I'm more likely to make a mistake and I don't want to cost someone's place in the tournament based on human error. So I've just decided to ban them. You can use them for your normal dinos, but use them at your own risk. 
Okay, if you do enter a super dino, that player, you must state the number of times this icon here appears before you want me to activate the awaken mode. So if you want me to activate it on free, activate it, I'll activate it on the third appearance. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you want to enter, I'm starting, I'm going to take in entries now. You have, your deadline is April 15th. So yeah, as I re mentioned before, message me on Discord that, or comment down below with this hashtag. And good luck everybody and let's have some fun. And this is Stranger Gamer signing out.